What's going on everyone? Back again. I have another budget phone for you guys. This one is actually a brand that I'm not really a fan of, but this one, it was very cheap to buy and uh, the specs look really good on it and I just wanted to give it another try, see maybe they uh, got their phones better they take, they take, because they had a lot of technical problems with their phones. We're going to find out today uh, about uh, this one. And this one, it is called the Yomi Dagi. I think I'm pronouncing it right. If I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, A13S. Cost of this, only around $99. For $99, you get pretty good specs and pretty good camera and a big display. You get a lot of things with this phone. So what we're going to do, we're going to be doing the unboxing of this. We're going to first see what's inside the box, what does it come with, how does the phone look like, the design, all that good stuff. Then we're going to come back here. Then I'm going to let you guys know display, sound, camera. Uh, we're going to walk around the phone, everything you need to know about this. But before we start this video, guys, please don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And please make sure you press the like button and press the bell. So every time I make a new video, you will get a reminder. So first, let's go unbox this. You get manual book, you got the plug and the cable. And the case for the phone comes right on the phone, if you can see. Let's take it out and there's a trick you should know. See this front protection thing on it? Make sure you take this very, very slow because behind it there's a screen protection that as soon as you take this off, that one goes on. But if you take this too fast, that screen protection is going to come up with it. So you got to pull it really slow. If you can see now, the screen protection is right on it. Behind here, it shows you the volume button, the power button, but it's like a sticker. So, best way is take it right out. Then you can see the logo on it. The color is very nice. It's like blue, metallic, like sky blue. It's got like lots of metallic in there. It looks really nice and it says Beyond Dreams. And got the Yomidagi logo at the bottom and the back it is flat and for the camera you got triple um, uh, bump on it so you got one bump and you got another bump and the camera setup actually looks really nice actually makes it look good makes it look like uh, actually this one worth something and you got your flash right in the right corner and obviously you got dual camera and you got your uh, button uh, on the sides here that's your on and off and your volume rockers and the bottom you have nothing the top you have a headphone jack and you got a flat uh, lcd display with a water drop selfie camera right on top the phone looks really good and is not heavy at all it's on the lighter side for having a huge battery so far the phone looks really good and i really like the design now let's go see the rest of this thing so first this phone comes with a 6.7 inch flat display lcd And it's big and it's not as bright, but it's bright enough to do everything on it. Watch videos or your gaming or whatever you're doing on it. And it comes with a huge battery. When I say huge battery, this one's got 5,150 milliamp battery. What does that mean? All day of usage. You can have this phone all day usage and go on it heavy duty. And you're still going to have battery when you get home. And what surprised me, it's a light phone is not as heavy usually 5000 milliamp battery on any other phone it should be on a heavier side but this one it is not and it comes with a very nice style i really like the style on it i like that metallic blue color and i like that camera setup in the back it looks really good the thing that i'm not a fan of is the bumps on these uh phones for the camera if you can see it's got one bump and two bumps So if you don't have the case on it, you put it on a flat surface, you're going to have a lot of wobbling. But if you put the case on this thing, you're not going to get no wobbling at all. It's just going to be flat. And it comes with a really good case. I really like the case on this because the case is strong and it's like a very hard silicone case. And for your main camera, for the rear, you have 16 MP. And for your selfie camera, phone comes with 8 MP. It comes with okay, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Features for the camera, but remember, it's $99 phone. Don't accept too much of this phone. For chipset, it's all right. It is not as powerful, but 
I did a bunch of tests on this phone. I played a game on it. I watched uh, 1080p videos. The phone did not lag and it downloaded really quick. So I was really surprised it had no lags between anything. And for uh, a memory, you can uh, get this phone in a uh, four gigabyte, uh, 64 gigabyte. You can go up to four gigabyte, 128 gigabyte, and it goes up and up. And the phone comes with face unlock and it's very quick, very snappy. So that's pretty much for the specs for this budget phone. What really surprised me, it's uh, when I was watching a video on this phone, I'm like, let me do a test, see if I can watch a video on YouTube in 1080p, see if it's going to lag or it's going to drop or it's going to cut between the video, but it actually did not. I actually did watch a 1080p 60 video and it did not cut between, I even went up to 4K and it still didn't cut. I was like, whoa, how is this possible? So you can actually watch uh, YouTube videos on this phone and enjoy it. But the bad thing about this phone is the speakers on this phone. You can hardly hear anything. They are very bad. So uh, pretty much put a, a Bluetooth speaker or put your headphones on. And phone comes with a headphone jack as well too. So first what we're going to do, I'm going to show you guys a quick video so you guys can see the resolution on this budget beast. And I wanted to do a quick gaming test on this phone, see how the gaming gonna be on it. Is it gonna have any uh, cutoffs between, or is gonna like, you know, when you have lags in the game, this phone did not have any lags in it. But you cannot play heavy duty games on this phone. You could play it, but it's not gonna be as smooth. But if you're uh, playing like a little games here and there, puzzle games, card games, all that kind of stuff, you should be okay. So let's go do a quick gaming test on this phone so you guys can see what I'm talking about. Now we're going to talk about the camera. Obviously 16MP and an 8MP selfie camera. The camera is not the greatest, but it still does the job. I was really surprised with it. The 16MP camera is not that clear. The pictures don't come out that sharp and that nice that you expect on a, like a $300 phone or like on a $400 phone. But my opinion, I think still did a good job and I did record a video in 1080p. So what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you guys the camera features first, then I'm going to show you guys some uh, pictures and some videos that I took in this phone, and you guys can judge it yourself, and let me know at the bottom what you guys think about it. For camera, you don't have much features. You got your uh, panorama, you got your pro mode, you got your brush, and you got your capture. Capture, you got your HDR, and you have your face beauty, so you can smoothen your uh, face, your uh, brightness, and all that stuff. For video, this phone can record 1080p. You got your time lapse and for more. For more, you got your uh, internal filter, QR code, and night promote. So, you do not get that many features on a budget phone like this, but the camera is not that bad.
What do I think? Honestly, my opinion, usually this brand had a lot of a lot of technical problem with this brand and I never liked them. And this one actually it, it is worth it for the money. Like for uh, 99 dollars I'll pay this all day long. But then you gotta worry about this brand. The bad thing is I don't know what's gonna happen with in like a month or two months, maybe they're gonna have technical problem, but I will come back in like a month. I'll let you guys know if this thing's gonna be actually really, really worth it. But so far, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up because it is actually worth it. You guys let me know what you guys think. I'm gonna catch you guys on my next video. Peace out for now.